joined now by the Executive Chairman of Steelmaker Liberty House, Sanjeev Gupta. Sanjeev, good to see you. So you're by no means downcast about uh, Brexit, why not? Well, you know, every situation in life has two aspects. Every glass is either half empty or half full. So within the current situation, we see a lot of opportunities. And we're f busy focused on uh, trying to capitalise on those. I mean, one of the things that you've particularly lighted on, you said it's going to be more attractive to build car parts from aluminium and steel in the UK. Is that based on an assumption that tariffs are going to be imposed on EU imports post-Brexit? No. F first of all, fundamentally, whether there is Brexit or not, Britain imports most of its uh, car. So most of the car which you make in this country is actually imported components. So there's a clear opportunity to reshore some of that, especially with some of the initiatives we have undertaken, like using our own aluminium to go directly into uh, components. So irrespective, there was an opportunity. But with Brexit, we see a greater focus on reshoring. Do we see? Do we have the skills base in this country? I mean, a lot of people talk about that. We have we have a fundamental skills base, but it d does need to be invested in. Over the last 20, 30 years, there has been an erosion of skills. That is a key part of our focus as well to invest in that. Right. I mean, you've been uh, expanding at breakneck pace in here in the UK. You bought a lot of the old Tata steel assets. How have those been uh, going under your ownership? So they're all doing well. Uh, the ones which we bought a couple of years ago are doing better. The ones which we bought recently are in turn around. So you know, it takes it takes a little while to turn businesses around, but all of them. One by one are doing well at the moment. I mean, is the entire business profitable across the piece? Are there still pockets that are loss making? Um, the entire business is profitable. There are the very recent ones which we've taken over are in turnaround, but everything virtually is in profit. The last business we bought uh, was a speciality business that will be in profit by January end. So it's very good. I mean, it's not even a few months since we bought it. And you are taking on uh, extra staff in some of these sites yes, as well. So we're expanding production. That's the key. If you have a fixed cost space, you need to spread it across uh, a decent size of production. So we've expanded production in all the, all the plants we've taken on so far. I mean, so how, what extent has the drop in the pound helped you? I mean, presumably that, that really has been beneficial in terms of your exports. It does help, both in terms of exports and also making imports more expensive. So it, does, it, it certainly does help. But fundamentally, it, there are competitive components in what we do, the way we're doing them. So we're using domestic scrap, which we currently export. We are investing very heavily in energy, which means uh, we have a lot of behind the meter energy, which means our energy bills are much cheaper than it would be. So all of those things make us more competitive as well. I mean, this is all very encouraging. I mean, what about the, the competence of the government in terms of how they're handling the Brexit negotiations? Do you have concerns about that? Look, it's a tough gig. So, I mean, you know, I, it's, and it's not our job really to get involved too much in, uh, in government. But what I can tell you is a few good things. Uh, you know, Greg Clark's uh, industrial strategy, clean growth, is very much uh, in line with what we've been championing for many years. So we're very happy with that. Uh, I was with uh, Liam Fox in uh, Australia uh, only last week, and some of the initiatives he's undertaken in terms of uh, encouraging exports, encouraging British exports, uh, we're very happy with that. UK export finance, for example, is taking a much bigger role than it used to. Uh, th that's very great. Chancellor's initiatives on uh, driverless cars, that's great as well. Because, again, no matter who's driving a car, it needs aluminium, it needs steel, and that's what we produce. So all of those things are positive. So there are always positive things going on. You just need to focus on those. And briefly, you've got offices all over the world, Singapore, Dubai, Sydney, as you just mentioned. You're expanding very rapidly in Australia as well. I mean, how does the UK post-Brexit shape up against those sort of markets? Well, again, you know, post-Brexit depends where we end up. But either way, we're also investing heavily in Europe. So it depends uh, where we end up. But either way, there will be opportunities and we'll try and capture it on those. All right, Sanjeev Gupta from Liberty House. Appreciate you joining me. It's good Thank to you. see you.